What is FPO? It's full form. Is it a second IPO of a company? Well, that is what we are going to discuss and learn in this video. FPO stands for follow on public offer. A company goes for FPO when it needs to raise additional funds after it has been listed on the stock market. So the company can opt for FPO due to multiple reasons. What are those reasons? Let us find out. FPO in the share market is the process by which a publicly listed company dilutes its shares or issues new shares to the investors. So a company opts for FPO when it wants to raise capital by offering more shares to the public after the IPO. IPO is initial public offer. So there are two main types of FPOs, dilutive follow on public offer, non-dilutive follow on public offer. So in dilutive FPO, the company offers new shares to the public. The main intent of this type of FPO is to raise additional funds. Here the earnings per share, which is also called EPS of the company decreases as the number of shares increases. In non-dilutive FPO, majority shareholders like promoters or directors of the company decide to sell their shares to the public. Here, no new shares are issued, thus the earnings per share EPS of the company remains the same. Non-dilutive FPO doesn't increase the company's capital, as the earnings from the share belong to shareholders. Now, what is the main difference between IPO and FPO? Well, in an IPO, a company decides to raise its funds by offering its shares to the public for the first time. On the other hand, in an FPO, a company decides to raise funds either by diluting its shares or offering new shares after the IPO. Usually in FPO, the company issues shares at a lower price compared to the market price to get more subscribers. Well, now you may also have a question. I know how to invest in IPO, but how do I apply for an FPO, right? Well, as we know, there is a very minute difference between FPO and IPO. Applying for FPO is similar to IPO. Through Alice Blue, well, through Alice Blue, you can easily apply for the FPO. Here is what you need to follow. Step 1. Open your free DMAT account with Alice Blue in just 15 minutes. What? Already have an account? Then just simply log on to Alice Blue IPO. Step 2. Choose from the FPO you want to apply and place your bid. Step 3. Once the bid is placed via UPI, the UPI app will block funds in your bank account proportional to the bid till the allotment date. So if the shares are allotted to you, the money will be debited from your account. If not, the money will be unblocked. Well, this is how you invest in an FPO. I hope you have got to know more about FPO from this video. I'll see you in the next video with one such amazing topic to share with you. Till then, you have an amazing time. Bye-bye. Investment in securities markets are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing.